All right, so today we're talking all about the top five Triumph Street Scrambler mods. We're gonna go from cheapest to most expensive. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Bash, and this is Nomad Scrambler. Today, like I've already said, we're talking about the top five Triumph Street Scrambler mods that you can do from least expensive to the most expensive, and that will just make this bike so much better. So kicking it off at number one, the first mod that I would do to any bike, not only the Triumph Street Scrambler, is change the mirrors. I hate bug eye mirrors on bikes. I hate stock mirrors, the way they stick up. Yes, they are designed to give you the easiest view of what you can see behind you. But personally, I like underbar mirrors and I will always change the mirrors on my bike. So I went with the Oxford Cafe Racers on mine and they're great, they're cheap, inexpensive, they're about £19 and well, they do the job, they are mirrors, they can help me see behind me. Enough said on that really to be honest. Number two, big blocky indicators, they are the worst on the stock Triumph Street Scrambler, they stick out so far and they just look horrendous. So I changed mine for the Oxford Atom Minis and they look absolutely great. They're little LEDs and they work brilliantly with this bike. It's pretty much plug and play. There is a small um, flasher relay that come in the box with these. You get two per box. So you, they cost about £29 and yeah, you need two sets to do front and rear, so about 40, 60 quid all in, which is not terrible at all, considering like now you can barely even see they're there. They're just, they stick out just perfectly on the rear. It tidies up so much. Oh, I keep forgetting what I'm talking about, man. It's been so long since I've motor vlogged, and to be honest, I'm just enjoying the cool breeze. Ah, hello, mate. So, number three is a tail tidy of some description. So, for me, the rear of the bike, or the rear of the Triumph Street Scrambler, it just doesn't look great. I basically did a rear fender delete along with the stock number plate holder. I completely got rid of that and replaced it with the Motone tail tidy. And it neatens up the back end. It looks so much better. It is ridiculous. It costs about £130 when paired with the Oxford Atom Minis. Like, it's a mean looking back end now. It's aggressive and I love it. Just start throwing this into corners. Yeah, it's one of those things that you definitely won't regret doing to a bike. Right, tidying up the back end. Uh, it's just something I always recommend to people when they ask what mods to do. Um, one of my mates has got an MT-07 and he asked me. I said, yeah, get a tail tidy on that, man. It'll look so much better. And uh, he didn't even know what tail tidy was when, uh, when I said it to him. But after he... Uh, he did it, he did agree. Looks so much better. £130 all in, can't really go wrong with that. Oh my goodness, bumps everywhere in this road. Oh, I've missed one out. Anyway, so we'll do it as an honorable mention. It's something I've not done to the bike yet, but it is on my list. It's levers, I want to change the levers. Um, I didn't think I needed to, but I do think just some shorty levers would look so much better. Um, and I don't use the whole, the whole lever anyway and it just kind of sticks out in this awkward, horrible position. And yeah, I, I think it's it's time for a change, man. It's definitely time for a change. So levers, you can pick them up on eBay, like eBay special levers. Yes, you can pay for more expensive levers, but like they all work the same as long as they fit your bike or the Triumph Street Scrambler. Go ahead and do it, man. I want to do levers before I release the uh, 2024 mod video hence why i am still waiting i filmed the entire video as well and then decided no i'm not happy with it it didn't sound right it didn't look right so um yeah i kind of binned everything basically which was a shame man because it needed uh just touching up 
and I realised that yeah, it wasn't wasn't what I wanted. It didn't fit the vibe that I have with the channel. So um, yeah, got bin. We start again. We go again. Number four is crash protection. I've got lower crash guards on this bike, and not only for the looks, partly for the looks, because I do think they look great, but partly because, like, what happens if I come off? What happens if somebody hits me? I want to protect that engine as much as I can, and the easiest way to do that is to uh, to fit some crash protection. So. Whether it's frame sliders or the whole works with the whole big bars or whatever, or just lower crash bars like I have. It's definitely something to uh, consider to, to fit to the bike. I think it cost me a hundred and, I wanna say like 160 pounds fitted from Triumph. You can do it yourself, but you need to remove some of the engine mount bolts. And yeah, you know, you know how it is boys. <laughs> I didn't have the right size tools, I didn't have half the stuff I needed to do the job, so I thought, you know what, it's uh, it's going to be a job for Triumph, and they did it in about 40 minutes, so I was gassed when they did that. And finally, the last mod that I think is essential to a Scrambler, and uh, it's proven by the fact that it's on both the 400 and the 900, uh, sorry, the 400 and the 1200 scramblers, some kind of a bark buster or handguard. The reason I put this in as the most expensive mod is because of the carbon handguards. They are real carbon fiber and they are absolutely extortionate for what they are. But if you've got the money and you want a good looking bike, personally, I think the carbon fiber just looks great and, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way now, but it looks so good. So those are my top five must have essential mods for the Triumph Street Scramble. And the reason they are essentials is because for me, they just make the bike so much better, so much more fun to ride. A couple of aesthetic mods, a couple of necessary mods, i.e. crash protection and a couple of uh, just quality of life mods, i.e. the uh, levers just been a little bit shorter. And the reason that I did not throw in tyres, and I know that people in the comment section will be like, what about tyres? Tyres are essential. They're not. Look at this, ready? Whoop. Doink. That's about as much off-roading as a street scrambler needs to do. <laughs> Um, no, the reason I didn't put tyres on this list is because personally, the Metzlers are completely fine for 90% of riders. And not because, you know, 90% of riders don't need better tyres, but because until they wear out, what's the point in changing them? There actually is no point in changing them because they are perfectly fine. And you don't need to change them until they're gone. After five years or after you've done, you've like worn them out, sure, go ahead and get yourself something better. Pick up some Pirelli Scorpion Rally SDR, some Shinkos or some Continentals. Why not? But until that point, save your money, aesthetically mod and, you know, like fit crap crash protection before you get better tires because the chances are you, you might need the crash protection before you need those new tires anyway. The handguards, they're going to protect your levers. So if you change the levers, that, that's going to be all good. I mean, my mirrors are toast if I crash, so that's fine. I'll just buy a new set of mirrors. They're not expensive. But yeah, just um, enjoy. Enjoy modding the bike. Save your money on some mods until you, you do. That's why I didn't put in an exhaust system. It's not essential. It's just some, it's a nicety. It's something nice to have. Anyway, leave a comment down below which is your favourite mod from the list. Like the video if you do, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And, and, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.